are you looking for some new bosses to hunt and you might be wondering is there any secret bosses in wayfinder early access and the answer is yes there are three as of now that have been discovered and today we're going to be talking about one of them which is a core arc light guardian and what actually drop from the thoughts and how you can go ahead and trigger the fight but before we hop into all that i do want to give a very special thank you to everybody that is supporting over on a patreon.com slash macon subscribe over on twitch.tv slash troy macon where we stream every single day starting around 7 15 p.m central standard and of course everybody who hit that wonderful join button here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, my dudes. And with that, let's jump into some secret bosses. So to start off here, we need to go ahead and head on into the repository. And from here, you can pick whatever difficult field you want to, because it doesn't really matter at all here. And when it comes to the loot for the boss, at least at the time of that video, the item is very consistent across all fields. Uh, so play whichever make you the most comfortable. And of course, from here, we need to go ahead and put on the solo imbuement. So, by putting this on, we are ready to take on this boss. This is all we're going to need. And you can, of course, do this in co-op or single player or whatever works for you. Uh, but for me, let's go ahead and do this in single player and let's jump in uh, to this dungeon. And once you are in, we want to go ahead and look for a very specific event uh, called a Rap Sympathy. This is an event, and with it being such, that might take you a couple one to actually run into it. Uh, but you will know you have found it once you enter that womb uh, with the giant triangle. So what we're going to do here is pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead, run over to this, and trigger this event. Just know this event is a little more difficult because uh, you are going to be fighting not only minions, but bosses. And how we get our secret bot here is of course we gotta defeat everything to get him the fawn uh, so let's go ahead and thought this and of course this event will require you to give an item it doesn't really matter uh, which item you give here uh, so feel free uh, to choose any of the data fragment you might have and if you're curious about farming the data uh, you can go ahead and get it in the exact same zone uh, by uh, hunting down a event uh, well you will uh, put three items in a womb and a bot will bond and by defeating him you can get your hands on these and you can also get your hands on these from enemy dropping and chests as well in this area uh, but nonetheless if you have went this area a few times you probably have a whole bunch so let's go ahead pick whatever one you want i'm just gonna go with goblin because well goblin and i have a lot and let's go ahead and trigger this event so like i said once it begin enemy will start spawning so let's go ahead kill off all the enemies and get to the boss and as you can see uh, since i've hit the goblin we got ourselves all goblin balls uh happening here uh, so like i stated we're just gonna go ahead and die and we're just gonna go ahead and defeat this boss and as you can see what that boss had done here is going to be all a boss here with the light a guardian so the big thing about that bolt that you need to keep an eye out is of course the attacks because he will shoot some energy waves. But other than that, we just want to avoid his three attack and charge. And don't forget, he also have a slime though. Uh, but we just gonna go ahead and now defeat him. And then we will look at what loot you can get from this secret boss. So let's go ahead and talk about the loot that you can actually get from the secret boss. And to start off is something I haven't got my hands on yet, but I know for a fact it does drop, which is, of course, an echo by the name of the Light Keeper Echo. And this echo will go ahead and give you 128 uh, to ability damage and a, a plus a 383 uh, to quit and this is a uncommon echo so if that an echo that interests you i do recommend farming the boss but with that being said we can go ahead and talk about one of the items i do indeed got from it and was able to get it to drop and our next item is the born out tracer this is a accessory uh, that i was able to get drop at 19 i have also seen it dropping around level 18 elite fulfill one 
Uh, so that might be something that need to be tested a little bit more uh, to see if this actually do have a higher a teal item or variant version that will drop on hard setting but on link tier one i can guarantee you a, a level 19 accessory so when it come to this accessory with the born out a uh, tracer uh, there is a couple things in mind here with to start off of this we'll go ahead and give you 700 and 29 to ability damage so that will come in handy for all you doing ability builds as well this is a part of a set as well and of course the main one of interest elite for that video anyway the or a solo and of course if you don't want to miss out on how to actually farm that item be sure to do the thumbs up subscribe hit all the bells so you don't miss out on my net video Cut my net video, I'm going to go into a nettle secret boss where you can call a farm that orb. And also, if you hit that wonderful subscribe button, you will get your hands on any more way final videos coming daily. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and do it for me for that secret boss. Let me know in the comment if you farm it, what other items you might see, or what level that accessory might be for you. I am super curious, uh, but for now, that's going to do it, and I... We'll go ahead and see you uh, in the comments.